Hi everyone, I'm Hallie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share a uh, traveler's notebook that I made using Nick the Booksmith's latest specimen kit. So this is one of the images and I blew it up and I printed it out onto muslin and I'll have a tutorial coming up um, about that. And uh, then I, this is the fabric I used. It looks and feels like suede. It's super soft, but it's just fabric. And then I hand stitched all the way around like that. So that's the back. And let's dive in. If you've taken my Dollar Tree Traveler's Notebook course on Teachable, you'll know what this, the inside of, uh, the base of this traveler's notebook is. And um, there's the, there's the elastics. I've got a muslin inside and here's the first insert. So she did these really cool specimen um, window things. So what I did was I laminated this and then see you can swap it out. I laminated this, but the back uh, you can write on for a secret message or you can swap out the card. So I, I did this, I made all of the uh, specimens into tags. So you'll see them throughout the journal. And then this first insert is just plain lined paper. The second insert is, uh, again, I printed out onto muslin and sewed around the edge there. I didn't use, I didn't adhere any lace because uh, I thought, you know, this journal could be for a guy too. I mean, it's very botanical. So, um, yeah. Um, and I've got some lace in the back. I'll show you that I'm including. So if you want the lace, you can have the lace. So here's the inside. Okay. So I, uh, so this is a folder and then I made this specimen window, a pocket. And then here's another pocket with another specimen window and a tag. And then this is just loose drawing paper. So you could, you know, replace it, whatever you want to do. And then here I included some really lovely uh, collage bits of mulberry paper in different colors. Uh, it's just it's so lovely. And then here's another specimen pocket and tag and so that's that second insert and then here's the third insert this is the junk journal insert and this insert is so junky it's I my goodness the tea staining in here well first of all let me point out the stitching okay I don't know what I did I know I did something but this is supposed to be zigzag, but it's not, but I really like it. So now I won't change my thread because I like the way it looks kind of viney. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so if, if you know what I did wrong, let me know down in the comments because I don't know what I did. See, it's all zigzaggy here, but not here. I don't know. Okay, so here we are. Um, this is one of Nick's uh, Wardian case journal cards that I blew up as a to uh, pocket. And then this is from, I think her, her first fern kit with the uh, quotes and, um, and then, okay, so grungy, grungy, grunginess and more grungy. I did like 10 cups of tea. No, not 10 cups. I did 10 tea bags in one cup, I think, of water. And, and then I thought, oh, it's going to get all acidic, you know. So then I threw some baking soda in there. And then it's like super just grungy. Edith Holden quote along with Edith Holden illustration because it's a junk journal. You can't have a junk journal without Edith Holden. Music paper, more grunginess. This is, I don't know if you can see that, that's um, my fake Ecodyne ledger, music paper, grunginess, more Edith, and that's more of that fake Ecodyne. More Edith, this is from Nick the Booksmith's first specimen kit or the quotes um 
I'll have links down below. And then more grungy, tea stained, glorious grunginess. Okay, so let me, oh, and here's another pocket. Let me tell you about this pen. Well, first of all, let me show you the back. Okay, so here's, uh, I've just clipped the lacy bit. So you, if you want to add the lace, you can. And then here's a pocket and here's a pocket and there's the back. Okay. So now let me tell you about the pen board. La! Okay. So here's a fountain pen and see, it's all matchy with that. I thought, I thought it matched lovely. Okay, so fountain pen. Um, and let me show you what I use every day so you can see what I modeled it after. Oh, this image is one of the journal, the Wardian Case journal cards, because I'm a huge um, Nathaniel Bagshaw Ward uh, fan. Uh, okay, so this is my uh, squirrel. All right. This is my everyday journal, my morning pages. I got a bunch of these when they were on sale at, at Walmart. And I left this on so you could see what it is if you wanted to know. Okay, so, and then this is what my combination bookmark. It's also, I took the planner concept of a dashboard. And so I have my sticky notes on here, my page flags, and I color code different things. Anything, you know, fern related is green, of course. And um, yeah, so, so you could use this as a dashboard and do something similar. Then on the back is my blotter for my fountain pen. So you don't have to wait for the ink to dry because, you know, sometimes people will complain it smears or whatever. So it doesn't if you use blotter paper. So same thing goes with Univall pens as well or rollerball pens if you have problems smearing. So, okay, so that's, that's the idea behind this. But I sort of... Um, embellished a bit more with uh, the raggedy idea and used ferns instead. Here's the blotter paper on the back and then I also made it a pocket. So and I just put like um, some collage bits in here. Not collage bits but you know ephemera. So here's that and then these are uh fake wax seal stickers that you can cut so there's that so okay i think i've said everything i need to say about this traveler's notebook it'll be for sale up in my etsy shop and um i'll have all the details in the description down below and i will see you in the next video bye